Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video, my fridge has just started buzzing again because I've not turned it off again. <laughs> um, so today's challenge video, it's a challenge, it's not a challenge. Um, so today's video is a full face of Revolution makeup. Um, so you can get this on the Revolution website, you can get this in Superdrug and you can get this on Beauty Bay. Um, so and we do we have three new products of the week this week three because I bought them all on the same day and I can't wait to use them um, there is two things that I do not have that I thought I had one is mascara so I've got just a little sample mascara of, of a different one and um, my powder which is the Rimmel Stay Matte one um, yeah I genuinely did think that I had powder and mascara but I must have got rid of them. So yeah, so today I will actually be doing my brows on camera and we're doing powder brows today. And all but one of my brushes, or oh, my spoolie doesn't count, but all but one, which is this VA, uh, this VH Cosmetics V5 brush, I'm using all Real Techniques brushes on my eyes, including my brows. So let's get into it. So to start off I'm using the Revolution Ultra Brow Professional Makeup Brow Palette um, and this is in the shade medium to dark. I do have the fair to medium but I like a bit of a darker brown to be honest so I'm just going to spoolie my spoolie I'm just going <laughs> to I can't speak I'm just going to brush my brows up with my spoolie my mirror's dirty already and I only used it once so I think I said in my last video maybe the one before that I've really got this thing for initial things at the moment like my mirror and I've got my mug and I've got my coaster I've got two necklaces with initials this one is a J for Joanne cringy I know and then I've got another one that my gra my nan and granddad bought me Christmas which is an A it's bigger than this though you can't really see it because of my top um yes so let's go in with this so I'm going to start off with this shade here for the front of my brows and then I'll work in a darker shade. I've not done powder brows since I moved here which was over two years ago because I actually bought this palette to leave at Joanne's house when we got together so I didn't have to keep bringing my makeup I bought like doubles of everything so I could leave some here. And then I started using pomades and pencils. I actually found a picture the other day of when I was younger and I thought it was really cool because I started doing my eyebrows. Like Before doing your eyebrows properly was a trend. When people forgot eyebrows were a thing and they just did their whole face and then had like no eyebrows because they were covered in foundation. I started doing my brows and literally I had no idea what I was doing so I just got like an eyeliner pencil a black one and you know some of them have like the smudges on the end so I just like put pencil in there and then I just smudge it through to make it look cool uh, looks like an idiot but at the time I thought it was the best thing ever but yeah I found a photo of that the other day if I can find it I'll insert it it's horrendous prepare yourselves so before there is any complaints about coronavirus and stuff um, I've been self-isolating I've quarantined myself from the rest of the world pretty much obviously I've been interacting with Becca, Joe and Louise because I live with them but I've not seen anyone else only people that would pass like in shops and stuff when we've been going to get like essentials but um, yeah not really seen anyone I've been chatting to people through Facebook and like, I've spoken to my sister and my mum and everyone on FaceTime but uh yeah it's it's a hectic time for everybody the most frustrating thing is these people that are just ignoring everything we've been told and they're still going out in these big gatherings and stuff it's like um you're risking people's lives as well as your own get in your house like we were meant to be going to visit my family and joe's nana and uh, we had to cancel that because 
me and Joanna like in the high risk um, thingy, I can't think of the word, we're high risk anyway and then so is my mum and so is my sister and then obviously my grandparents and Joe's nana too so we don't want to get anyone poorly I was meant to see my godmother too and she's also high risk we don't want to make anyone poorly and we don't want to get poorly so uh, we've cancelled it unfortunately Joanne has to work anyway so she's just cancelled her week holiday and she's going to work and then when we when all this is over she's going to take the week and we're going to have a nice little holiday so that's my brows it feels so weird doing my brows like that now um, and then I'm gonna go and prime up my eyelids so let's see if I can get a good open on this no I just can't open it at all so I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with my concealer at long last I got it open so this is the new Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I've got mine in C1. Oh, oh how big that is. Wow. Um, and then for my foundation, I've got the Conceal and Hydrate foundation. I'm gonna open this now. So uh, it's done. It's like double wrapped, no wonder I'm struggling. sealed for your protection do you know what's not for my protection all this wrapping because it's going to make me insane so let's just dab a little bit of this onto my lids so my concealer's in C1 and my foundation's in F2 because that's what I usually go for but you know me and my odd combinations of colours and having one in F1, one in F2, one in F3, one in C4 oh. so I've been watching uh, Tiger King on Netflix I don't know if any of you guys have watched it but um, it's odd not sure how I feel about it. Joanne didn't want to watch it, so I thought oh, I'll watch it on my own. But yeah, it's it's strange. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Revolution Soap palette. You can't really see the soap because of my lighting. Um, be prepared. This is disgusting. Like look at that. It's a gorgeous palette. I don't mean the palette's disgusting, but it's so well used. So I'm just taking my Real Techniques medium shadow brush I'm just putting that slightly above my crease I lost my little like plastic slip thingy for this that had all the shade names on but I'm sure this is like cookies or cookie dough or something also working that into the front portion of my brow too but not too heavily I want this to be quite a soft look it's very browns and nudes today um, and then with my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush I'm taking that slightly darker shade and just running that in my crease and on my outer V And on my blending brush, I'm just going to blend those two together. Uh, yeah, so does anyone have any good recommendations for shows and stuff that I should watch? Because I've watched Tiger King. I'm watching RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm caught up on Riverdale. I've just got Disney Plus, so I'm going to watch some of the stuff on that too. But yeah, I'm a bit stumped as to what to watch because I don't know what's good anymore. Um, and then on a Real Techniques base shadow brush, I'm taking the really dark brown and I'm just going to pop this in my outer V.
and I just blended that through um, and then on my finger I'm just going to take that shimmery shade this is sort of a pink tone shimmery shade and I'm just popping that on my lid I'm using my ring finger well my right handed ring finger I'm just going to blend that in a bit I'm going to come back and do my lower lash line after I've done um, my base so for now I'm just going to go in with the revolution I don't know what this is called it's just a revolution line it was like five pound or something but it's in black so I'm just going to do a very thin line of this okay so I've used this once and I didn't like it then and I don't really like it now it's just too wet for my liking it like transfers and I don't like that right so I've kind of fixed that as well as I can this I went really well I'm really impressed um, so yes so now we're gonna move on to base oh that was a good sound um, so I've never actually used a Revolution Break Base. This is the iHeart Revolution Mint Choc Chip Color Correcting Primer with Vitamin C and D. I'm just going to pop a bit of... Oh, that was a lot. Like, I don't need that much. My face is not that big. It does smell nice and minty, though. So I'm just going to pop this on my face. So as you can see, this is green which is odd obviously this is a colour correcting one so this is for redness and I have had quite a bit of redness to be fair um, I'm just going to rub this and use my hands So I love the smell, it's very minty, but um, obviously I look really weird coloured right now, um, but yeah it's nice, it's very, uh, what's in it, like silicone like, it's very, it does feel very like, much like that, but it smells like it's, and it looks good, oh it's a pump, so just going to pump a little bit of this foundation onto the back of my hand, and with a brush I'm just gonna brush that in and then I'll go through and I'll uh, oh my god and then afterwards I'll go through with a sponge and blend it a bit better matches my neck quite well it looks a bit odd in on camera but in person it's nice um, that was three pumps that I used and it's covered really well so now I'm just going to blend it with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and So I am loving it so far. Just gonna pop a bit of my concealer on. Oh god, without poking my eye out. So for one dip that got quite a lot out. 
Um, so I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender again and blend that. That is full coverage. What do these say? Medium to full for the foundation. Medium to full. I didn't really have to build that either, so that I'm really impressed. Um, so as I said, I don't have a revolution powder, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this powder. This is like a real techniques. Fucking thing in it. Um, so this is my Real Techniques setting brush, and the first one was a foundation brush, or no, it wasn't. It was a sculpting brush, I think. But my foundation brush needs washed. And then I've got just a big powder brush. I'm just gonna set my face lightly. So now I'm gonna do my lower lash line. So. Um, with a Real Techniques smudging brush I'm just taking the medium brown that we used and I'm popping this on the outer corner of my lower lash line just bring it maybe a third halfway maybe a third maybe halfway in and then with a Real Techniques shading brush I'm taking that first shade Ooh, I'm just meeting it halfway and I'm just blending that darker shade out and then I'm just going to take that lightest shade the creamy sort of white and I'm just popping that on my inner corners using a Real Techniques Precision, what? Precision, precision, precision smudging brush. I know, I'm loving that, not gonna lie. And then I'm quickly gonna pop on this mascara. Um, that's just a nourishing mascara from where is it from Butanic Beauty it's just a sample I think I got it in a birch box or something but I thought I'd just pop that one on and then for blush of course we're going in with my blush and highlight palette in that peachy shade This is my favourite, I love it. And then I'm going in with my Revolution Bronzer. I'm just swishing my big fluffy brush in there. And then to highlight, I have the Revolution Strobe Highlighter in Flash. This has got a bit of a greeny tone to it, but um, I'm going to use it anyway. And then for my setting spray, I've got the Revolution Call-In Spray. And then for lips, I'm just going to use the Revolution Lipstick in Vow. So that is our finished look thank you so much for coming back to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time